Hello friends, welcome back. As we know that uh, the main task of lexical analyzer is to generate tokens. Right? The main task of lexical analyzer is to generate tokens. And these tokens are used by parser for syntax analysis. Now, apart from uh, generating these tokens, the lexical analyzer has to collect uh, the information about the tokens which can be used for the translation of tokens. So, what the lexical analyzer does, it collects information about tokens and uh, it keeps that information in symbol table. Now, what happens? Uh, An uh, attribute is uh, associated with the token and uh, what is that attribute that attribute is the pointer to that entry of symbol table where the information about that token is stored now see this uh, fortran statement the tokens and uh, their associated uh, attribute value uh, for this statement are given here as a sequence of pairs now see this statement in this statement this uh, capital e it is an identifier so you can see this pair right in this pair this uh, id is the token for this uh, uh, e right for this lexeme e id is the token and uh, the attribute value associated with the token with uh, this uh, identifier token is pointer to the symbol table entry for e right now see this equal to sign what is it it is an assignment operator right the token for this is here right uh, the token for this is this assignment operator right but uh, there is no attribute value is associated with this token right similarly you can see this uh, uh, capital m what is the capital m it is an identifier so here the token for this uh, uh, capital m right is uh, id right and uh, associated attribute value for uh, this token is pointer to symbol table entry for m right now you can see this uh, asterisk it is a multiplication operator and uh, the token for this uh, asterisk is this multiplication operator right and here you can see that uh, for this token there is uh, no attribute uh, value is associated right Similarly, you can see this double asterisk. It is a, an exponent operator. So the token for this exponent operator is this one, right? And you can see that in this case, uh, with token, there is no associated attribute value. Then you can see this two. What is this two? It is a number, right? And uh, the token for this uh, two is num, right? This is the token for this two. And the attribute value associated with this token num is integer value 2. Right. Uh, so here you can see that, that in a certain pair there is a no need of attribute value like here, like here. Right. Because what happens with the first component, right, is it is sufficient to identify the lexeme. Right. Because uh, here there is no need of attribute values. You can see in a multiplication operator. Right. For this... Uh, uh, this token is generated mult op so this is enough to identify the lexeme asterisk right now here you can see this character 2 right for this uh, this uh, token num has been generated and uh, the attribute value associated with this token num is integer value 2 here the attribute value associated with this uh, token num is not a pointer to a symbol table entry so a compiler has an option it may store this uh, character 2 in symbol table right and uh, in that case what will happen uh, the attribute uh, value associated with this uh, token num will be a pointer to the table entry right